I started hang gliding in the summer of 1973. Wow, what a rush. Well, I started out all alone And the sun went down as across the hill and when I was learning to fly, my dog Curtis, he was right there with me. The world got still. I'm learning to fly. After the sand dunes of Canamar, well, everything was a little harder at Escape Country. Coming down is the hardest thing. Then came my first high flight. Woo! There's Curtis. May not return. 381 feet down to the beach, my heart was a pumping. And the sea may burn. I'm learning to fly, but I ain't got wings. Coming down is the hardest thing. Yeah, I'll never forget the summer of 1973. That's when I learned how to fly. When I started competing, my dad was so cool. He was always there at the Southern California meets with his camera. Now he captured some great moments in my competition days. Check it out. It was a beautiful day. Sun beat down. I had the radio on. I was driving. Trees went by. Me and Dell were singing. A little runaway. I was flying. In those early meets, it was all about landing on the bullseye. Any way you could. Then they changed the rules and we had to use a little more finesse. It was always cold, no sunshine. Yeah, running down a dream that never would come to me. Working on a mystery, going wherever it leads. Running down a dream. There's Curtis. Ah, the good old days. Here are some memorable moments from my early days of hang gliding. You know, playing in the sky, flying like a bird, there's just nothing like it. Curtis became the world's first hang gliding dog in 1974 when we started flying together. We spent years traveling around the country and he got as much airtime as a lot of the pilots. He really did love it.
He was a great dog, and you know what? He was my best friend.